Our journey at Agritechnica 2023 continues and we are now at the John Deere stand, a massive one hectare collection of machines, which this year has been laid out quite uniquely. Now to tell us a little bit about how it's been done and why it's been done, is Chris Wiltshire, who is the technical marketing manager for John Deere UK. Chris, tell us about it. Well, welcome to our stand. Thank you very and, much. Um, yeah, we've gone a little bit different this year. We've not just rode up or well, lined up all our tractors and our other products. What we've done is try to show what John Deere can offer in a production system approach. So if you think when you're producing something, there's a, there's a whole row of, of applications that you right, need right. to do when yeah. you're you know, whatever it might be growing. And John Deere splits all of our products into a production system. So right now we are stood on what we call our small grains production system. So that's so, the arable side of it. Exactly, yeah, yeah, that's, okay. it, that's it. So of course, where we are right now, we've got to do a bit of preparation of the ground. And of course, what better product than our 8RX. Uh, so again, this has been a fantastic tractor for us in the UK. As you know, you yes, know have the soil pleasure. specialist, as we call it. Yes, that's right. We and um, you know, really been well accepted. An absolute uh, monster of a machine, pulls like hell. And, now I can uh, remember these things coming out, but this is a new step, is it? Because this is an autonomous version, isn't it? It is. So you would have probably seen that Deer, what a year or so ago, yeah, yeah. introduced an autonomous ATAR at the CES show, a technology show in the US. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And there, those fully autonomous ATARs are available in the US right now and we've now brought one here to, uh, to Hanover so this one you can see it's actually got six pairs of stereo cameras so three pairs on the front right three pairs on the back and uh, you can probably yeah. see those on the weight block as, uh, as you, at the front of the tractor right now and they are scanning the ground around it and they're looking for any obstacles or whatever it may be and of course you know the one thing for this is to ensure that um, it only drives over stuff it needs to, so if it looks for any obstacles and it doesn't recognise anything, then it will communicate back to the farm manager and it's all controlled through an app. It'll send a little picture to say, what is this? Something in the way here. Yeah, and can I drive over it yeah. or do I need to stop? So, you know, fantastic system. Are we likely to see these in Europe anytime soon? Is this something, I know you've got one here. We're going to see them in Europe coming soon? Uh, definitely. I think, you know, whether you're looking around the show, there's an awful lot of focus on autonomy. Huge. It, it will come at some point. I think there's still a few I's to dot and T's to cross um, before we see them. So can give you a date right now, but you will see them, I'm sure. Now, does the autonomy extend from the tractor to the implement? Are we there now where there's more, more control on the implement, so the implement's got eyes, so to speak? Uh, so again, a big part of what we do is you know, the machine learning, um, and that's a, a lot of what goes into the autonomy. Mm -hmm. So it will be looking for things that may be going wrong, something shouldn't be where, how it looks, mm -hmm. even as those cameras looking at the back. So yeah, that's all being integrated into to the whole package of autonomy. Right. So now we've got we've, done, we've got the autonomous AR. Oh, that's a new development that yep. we've got. So tractors driving themselves, which you've seen, moving along here. Now we then we're feed through the seed drills, etc. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So a bit further down the production line, we go into our seed drill. We have to drill whatever we're putting in the ground. Of course, we've got the good old 750A. Uh, again, been super for us. And maybe just um, highlight. There's a little blue line on the ground that you, that you might be able to pick up. And of course, today with our operation center, you know, all of our machines are connected. So right. from our first pass in the field with a cultivator, mm -hmm. we can lead that and share the same guidance line absolutely seamlessly um, to all of the other tractor operations that yeah, yeah, that yeah. might happen in the field. So we've got a tractor, we've got a drill, um, no-till drill, again, great for the UK market and actually we then start to open up all these little yellow lines on the ground now and of course again part of our guidance and technology auto path we can actually start to you know if we know that we've got a six meter drill and we've got x whatever row spacing right. we can see where each and every one of those rows are and with auto path we can share those all the way through the, uh, the production system through all of the applications that we may do. So as we've got the lines here and these lines now stay like this, I know theoretically, for the entire system. Absolutely. All, all and yeah. they, they, until we go in and harvest it, then you know anything we apply, we can, uh, we can apply it specifically to where those 
bits of crop may be. And we'll maybe touch on that in a little bit later in another one of our production systems. Now, okay. Yeah, what we will do. Now, I've just seen something that we haven't seen before. We've got a new sprayer over here, haven't we? We have indeed. Excellent. Well spotted. So, um, John Deere, we're pleased, I guess, first public showing the, of the new 300M sprayer, sort of our mid-spec sprayer. Right. So effectively, we've doubled our sprayer or self-propelled sprayer portfolio. Um, again, coming from our factory in Italy, this sprayer now really a sweet spot, specifically for UK and I was Ireland. Just say, this is a, this is a, a, a very much suited to the UK Absolutely. market. Absolutely, yeah. So it's so a mid-spec, but again, you know, all that great stuff you would expect from a John Deere sprayer. You know, the technology embedded. So all of the G5 display, Green Star, um, you know, wireless data, all of that sort of connectivity that you'd want or within the, your, your, your sprayer, seamless, but also taking some of the key features even from, a, from its big brother, um, the, R9, R, the R41, things like power spray available. So yeah. again, for fast filling, you know, we want our sprayer um, drivers to be as, as efficient as possible, fast filling, all that good stuff. I see, yeah. this, this, this the sprayer actually, this is it would have been John Deere bought Mazzotti, didn't they, several years ago? They did, yeah. So this is a development from the Mazzotti design that you've taken to correct to the next level. Correct. So we've embedded all of our engineering and process and whatever else. So you've John now, Deere so, it. Absolutely. <laughs> and of course, it's now you know fully integrated into the John Deere systems, whether that be um, you ordering one or you know all through the parts warranty whatever it might be Absolutely. so so now it comes in what size is this so up, up to 36 meters up yeah. to 36 meters two tank sizes 3200 or, or 4000 liters two engine sizes a four cylinder and a six, six cylinder, cylinder yeah, engine yeah, yeah. so um yeah really looking forward to uh to, to getting that out now when will these be available in the uk are so they you you could order one today Excellent. There you go. So they'll be landing next spring. So, right now, take us further on down. So we've, this. Where so we've, are we going we've, now? We've grown it. <laughs> we've looked after it. So that's our nurture. Yeah. We've got this little gap in the middle. I guess that's where it's all growing. Yes. Yeah. And um, we'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then, of course, we've got to harvest it. So um, again, you know, our range of combines, three sort of key technologies: our T series, our S series, um, and of course the flagship. Um, X series combine. So we split those roughly 50 ton an hour, 75 ton an hour, or 100, 100 ton an tons hour. an hour, yeah. We've got and um, on, yeah. I guess really the, the key sort of showstopper here is our harvest lab on our T series, available on T and S. Right. So um, We've been talking about it for a little bit, but this is probably the so first this one been, you've seen. That's right, it is. It's been talked about and talked yep. about and talked about. So this, yep. you've actually now got it. Absolutely here. So um, if uh, if I'm getting close here, you know, it's convenient.